Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm gonna talk to you about how to cut shingles for starting. All right, friends, so we have some shingles here. These are Owens Corning, and they are what they refer to as an architectural shingle. They have these, um, it's like a base shingle with a top glued on. It makes um, a little bit thicker shingle. The old school shingles were called three tabs. They had like three tabs in here, and then you, alternated those tabs. So this is an architectural type. Three tabs are not very common anymore, but they're still seen on some houses and you can still get them. So these are an architectural. When you start with your shingles, you need to stagger your starts. So the way we commonly do that, and let me add a caveat, I am not a professional roofer. I'm, I wouldn't even call myself an expert roofer. I've roofed many houses, I've torn off a lot of shingle, I've put on a whole lot of shingles, different brands of shingles, different types of shingles, So, but I'm not an expert. So, when you are doing shingles, look at what the manufacturer provides for you. The manufacturer of this, these OC or Owens Corning, they provide a description on the packet, the wrapping, of the shingle. Read through this before you even take off any shingles. Read through it, get your headspace around what's going to happen. On this, this plan will tell you exactly what I'm going to tell you. What you do when you start shingles is you stagger them. So when you start on the left or whether you start on the right, you can do this exact same thing because one piece will be your starter the other will be your finisher. So let's show how that works. So on this OC, you have a stagger of six and a half inches. So I'm gonna say I will start my roof edge, I'm gonna start it on the left side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure over six and a half, cut it off. That's gonna be my first of my stair step starters. So the way I like to do this, I like to flip it over so I'm on the back side. I measure, ooh, safety first. People that say safety second, they usually say that because they haven't had a big hospital before. Keep that in mind. So six and a half is my stagger. I'm gonna mark this with my utility knife. Then I'm gonna set my square on here and normally I get a board underneath this so that I can just cut, flip, cut. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to cut, but not all the way through. And cut. Now, sometimes you can bend these. Now look. I wanted to show you this right here. So here we have, this is the base layer. This in there is this part right here. This extra little layer that gives that architectural um, texture to it. So we need to cut through that. You make sure you cut all the way through that because you don't want it to bend this and then have it rip off. So that's why it's good to have a piece underneath this to cut really deep. So I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap plywood, we're gonna put it underneath this and then cut it. All right, so we're back in action now. So I have my line mostly cut. I'm gonna make sure to cut this real deep so I have a nice, good cut edge. Okay, so here is my first starter. As you see, it's not as long as a regular shingle. It's six and a half inches short over here. So now I'm gonna put this one aside. I'm gonna take this cutoff, put it over here. This is going to be a finisher. 
because it has a good edge on the left side now. So we would start with this shingle where it has a good right side. We'd stagger these up. When I get to the end of the roof, I would go to my finishers and use these to finish it out or use these to cut a little bit off and make sure to finish it out so I'm not wasting a whole nother shingle. So now six and a half. Now two times six and a half is, math, yes, 13. So now we're gonna take 13 off of this edge. I make my little mark here. Using my square. Now this is my next finisher. This is my next starter. So now you can see how we are stair stepping these back. The way that this is gonna work, the way we're gonna roof this house, our proverbial house that we are roofing, we'd start with a full one. Then we'd have our piece that's six and a half cut off. Then we have our next one, our 13 cut off. And this would be our stair step, our stagger on the edge of the roof all the way up. The next one we would cut would be a 19 and a half, then a 26, then a 32 and a half, and by that time, we have just a small little thing. Once we have that small little thing, so it's, it'd be kind of looking like stagger, 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 oops, like that, like this. And then after we have this type of stagger, we fill out these with full shingles, go all the way across the roof, put another full shingle here, and start right back again. So that is how that is how you stagger your start for your shingles, how you have a stair step start on your roof with Owens Corning shingles. Thanks so much for watching.